All right, so I'm gonna show you the fastest way to tie a shoe, at least as far as I know. Okay, so what you do, you do the normal tying like this first. Okay, once you do that, you grab this, you put both your fingers like that, then you grab through and you just pull it like that. So you can see how fast that is, okay? Once you do the regular tying, okay? Just do the regular tying like that, and then grab this and you can pull it just like that. It's super fast, okay? I'll do it in slow motion now so you can kind of see the regular one, okay? Cross over, flip that one like that, okay? Just the usual tie. Then what you do, okay, you grab two strings, get your index finger, go underneath. Other one, your thumb goes underneath and your fing index finger. So both fingers basically wrap around like that. And also if you're kind of doing it, you wanna pay attention because you don't want it to go backwards. I don't think it'll work that way. Let me see if I can do it backwards. And I don't think it'll work that way, but yeah, see, it won't work that way. So what you want to do is if you look at this, the first tie that you did, you want it to pretzel on its, like twist on itself, okay? So when you wrap your fingers there, you can see the thing is twisting further on itself, okay? And then once you do that, so you continue just wrap, and then you grab with your thumb, grab with your index finger, and then you move your other finger out of the way move your other finger out of the way, and that's you're basically just pulling that together. Okay, so hopefully that is kind of clear enough. Um, I'll do it one more time, again, close up, and then we'll do a few times slow motion, okay? So the shoe, okay, the regular tying, you go like this, okay, you make an X, and then you just wrap one around. So basically you're just like wrapping the string around the other string, okay? Then you pull it, once you've done that, again, you grab it, you get your thumb and finger ready, okay? And again, we're making it so that it continues twisting on itself. You can look, see how the twist is going. Do it like that, okay? And then while they're twisting on itself, grab with your ver finger here and then your thumb here, okay? Depending which way you're facing, of course, that might differ, but yeah, all right? You're gonna basically grab, because you can't grab like this and that's not gonna work. Okay, you grab with this finger, grab with the thumb, and then you pull it just like that. Okay, super simple. Also, um, if you're wondering for like double knotting and things like that, yes, you can also double knot it that way. So you can go like this, grab it, pull it, and then you can take the whole bow, same thing, grab it and pull it, and it actually does it, oops, <laughs> accidentally wrapped that on itself. But as you can see, it would do a double knot. Um, and then if you try and pull that, it shouldn't come out, but this is probably gonna make the knot worse. <laughs> Okay, anyways, it won't go the opposite direction like if your shoe is like your leg is pulling on it. So let me try it again and show you guys one more time. Okay, so let's say we do it backwards. So normally I wrap it this way. Let's say I wrap the other lace this way. Okay, it's basically doing the same thing. You can see which way it's kind of twisting. So we do this. You can see the way the the twist goes, one ends up like higher up and one ends up lower. And that's how you know which finger to use where. Grab it again, pull it through, okay? If you want, I'm gonna pull some of this through. And then same thing with, if you want, you can do this. Grab it and then pull it through. And try not to get these two bottom little strands by itself wrapped in on, it, on itself, okay? And there you go, if you want, you can double knot it like that. And if you see, I can pull it now and it's not coming out. Okay, so then now it's going to be a pain because I double knotted it. Um, depending on your shoelaces, if they're thinner strings, it's going to be even harder. Thicker shoelaces tend to be easier to remove, of course. Okay, and one more, well, we'll do a couple more times. This time again, I'm going to do it fast just so you can see how quick it is. All right, you got the shoe, tie it like that, like that, and like that. Okay, done. All right, again, untie it, tie it again, just like this, and like that, and done. All right, see how fast that is? So that's the fastest way to tie a shoe as far as I know. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.